first encounter. What is this thing? A keen worm. He's magic intolerant. Skills. Like actual skills, you guys. said last video now the next one you're gonna see is outbreak however we have still more quests to do in here there are actually hidden areas that I did not realize in this game and in the last game in an infection I went on the wiki to look something up and found out that you have to go to certain areas and you wouldn't know about them if you did not have the dot hack side DVDs. So there are two areas that the DVDs tell us to go to. There's also an anime DVD that comes with the game that I haven't been watching. That also gives you an area to go and you get certain items from. It's like trade items. There's one time I came across somebody who was looking for an ice bar. I don't know what an ice bar is. I've never heard of the ice bar, but it was somebody who only had like three items to trade and they were really good items and needed an ice bar. Didn't know where to get them, didn't know what to do with it, didn't think anything of it until I started looking at this and found out, oh, you gotta go to one of these hidden areas, one of these bonus areas to find an ice bar. And there's somebody else who's looking for Chinese food, same thing, you gotta go to that special hidden dot hack sign code given area in order to get it. And we still have one Grunty that we weren't able to make. So I want to do all those things before we move on to Outbreak. So without further ado, let's get into Dot Hack Mutation. Oh, there's also going to be some uh, bonus things that Bandai themselves will be sending to us. Like this right here. Cleared game data in Reverse City. So let's read it out. Rikia Bandai. Cleared game data. Congratulations on clearing dot hack mutation. You now have a data flag for dot hack mutation. Game data saved in this condition in yellow can be imported into the next volume. Data without the data flag will not be imported. So please be careful. You may continue with your adventure with the current data. The main story will not proceed. Items and experience obtained after clearing can be imported to the next volume so you can strengthen your character before you continue with the story. I have no idea if Rika is a man or a woman, but that's the voice they're using. Rika again, reversed city. The reverse city in the sky. No one knows its true name, or what happened to its residents. For the secrets, head to Bitter Fantasy Mirror World and see with your own eyes. And there we go. And it's actually in a different server. Which makes me think that I can't go to the other server anymore. That it's destroyed until we go into Outbreak. Which is gonna put a damper on going to these uh, hidden areas, which means it'll probably carry over to Outbreak and I'll go do it then. But we can go do the hidden area that we skipped in Infection. The news! Let's see what's going on in the news. Hello, success in cultivating apples. The Hiroshi Matsuyama Research Center announced it had successfully cultivated a batch of artificial apples that are highly nutritious. A spokesperson said this was possible through computer monitoring, whereby the perfect environment could be recreated to produce apples. Although still in its experimental stage, the project successfully cultivated 200 apples in this environment. Considering the developmental costs needed to create these special apples, it is estimated that each apple will cost thousands of dollars. That's crazy. I feel like that's where we're getting to now. 
Capturing Bigfoot. Casts have been taken of Bigfoot's footprints. Analysis of the cast shows the footprints as being three days old. The area has been quarantined, allowing access to only those affiliated with the investigation. Oh man. Maybe they'll capture Bigfoot in this game. That's what I'm really looking forward to. A new silver dollar coin. Treasury officials recently announced that the silver dollar coin, a frequent target of counterfeiting, will soon be reissued for a third time. At a news conference, officials unveiled the prototype of this re-release, expressing confidence in its plasma diamond coated surface. A revolution in coin manufacturing would prove impossible to duplicate. Some people have suggested reintroduction of paper currency, but such a move seems unlikely, especially given the immense popula popularity of electronic money. I think that's kind of where we're on uh, our way. Just nothing but electronic money. Bam, there we go. That's the news. Moving on to the world. See what's on the board. I did also find out, doing my extensive research of reading a wiki page, uh, that there is some stuff on the board. There's one other thing that we have to go do, and it's a tag. It's the last tag thing. Let's play tag. Take two. Good gob. By Martina R. Really? I knew this was going to happen, gob. This is annoying, gob. I'm busy, too, you know. Uh, well, all right, gob. Challenge you at detestable, vengeful gate. Gob. Come along, gob. We gotta go do that. We gotta, we gotta go challenge him. Uh, anything else? I think that was it. Yep, that's it. Login! Oh! Okay, no, we're, st we're still allowed here at the, uh... Delta? Delta server? It's all messed up. But people are able to walk around. Is it gonna give me the damn screen, screen flickering, too? Oh, I think the music's all different, too. What's up? Anything about what's going on? No? Just gonna ignore it? Alright. I don't know why I went to trade. Uh, I'm gonna go buy myself to go do the gob thing first, just cause it's a easy thing to do. Oh, you know what? I should wear the armor I got. From them, see if that does anything. Like, there's a reason they gotta give it to you, and it's so low level that it's like, why why bother giving this to me if I'm not gonna use it? Because it's low level. Uh, this. We want that. We're gonna hang on to one of these, too. These bouncer gloves, maybe. I gotta see which one of my armors is the lowest. And then whichever one it is. I'm gonna keep a spare armor that I would equip on there, and that's what we're gonna throw into fountains for a while. Alright. Let's put on this gob stuff. It's gonna lower a lot of what we get. Well, I wanted to see what it gave us too. So Modley. Curse of target, SP decreased with time. Uh, gives us deck dough. Slow down a target, speed down movement for a set time. Maybe that could be used on the golden gobs. Um, Duke Lee. Poison a target, HP decreases with time. And then usually when you have everything equipped, it gives you something else. More goblins, that's the one. Uh, summon, summon a giant gob, giant goblin, which you can do with the first one too. Uh, decrease target and any nearby members wood element. Nice. All right, bam. That's our stats with all the golden gob stuff on. So we need to head to 
detestable, vengeful gate. Here we go. The water place. Hey there. This is how it always turns out. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Was she the one that I fought last time? Defeat the golden god by running in the field. Ooh, she's fast! Uh, let's get our speed charm on. And... Yeah, you run circles around me all you want. Skills. We're gonna go more goblins. It does nothing, alright. Uh, skills. Approve myself. Oh, I'm cool. Misses. I think they're. Yeah, she's match tolerant. Okay. So, yeah, we can't use any magic on her. But I can use. These if I can get close to her. So fast. Time we actually connect with a hit. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. See, I can't cheese it like the last two wins that I did. You gotta actually go after and take her down. Just get like stuck on something. Just get stuck on something. That's all I need you to do. That's all I need you to do. Just get stuck up on something. Actually, I wonder if standing still is the strat, because those are running around me, right? No, I guess not. Oh, you're gonna cast a spell. Just cast some, some life regeneration on yourself. Yeah, this is the last person I fought the last time. They did the same thing. Standing still is not the strat, you guys. Having good accuracy is a pretty good strat, though. Alright, so if my other abilities don't really do anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these back on. If I were to use one of these, we do nothing. Yep. Try to just get close to use one of my attacks. that I did. Oh, that thing ran out. <laughs> wow, not a single one. Alright, their spell is worn off, but if I can keep in contact with them, like if I break apart from them, they'll cast it again. So I gotta make sure that we are just always in battle mode, to where they do not cast it. And there we go, I failed at doing that. Right next to him. Mysticato. How are none of my attacks landing? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go over here. There we go. Now, now we're dark resistant. They had, they had enough time to put their goddamn healing back on. You know what? We're gonna go look up a strategy. Maybe there's a better way to do this. To do this. 
by three of the moons in a beast bane. Also get plus five, or get five plus flame blasts. Yeah, this is against the last person. The moon and flame blast can be found in the magic shop in Lambda Beast Bane. Data magic shop. Use Beast Bane to offset the goblin's magic tolerance. Use the moon to put it to sleep. Use two or three flame blasts to damage it before it wakes up again. And then repeat. Voila. We're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of the moon. Let's see how many we actually have. 49. Yeah, and this one just says to buy three of them. Beast Bane. Flame Blast, I think I have a lot of too. A fire Tempest, Flame Blast, you got seven. It says to get five plus. My East Bay temporarily decrease in target's magical defense. Is that right? Three the moons and a beast bane. Also get plus five flame blast. The moon and flame blast can be found there. Okay, so use a beast bane to offset the goblin's magic tolerance. Use a the moon to put it to sleep. Use two or three flame blasts to damage it before it wakes up, and then you just repeat that over and over. Uh, I'm gonna grab four of these. I know it says just to do one. But, better safe than sorry. Let's go back and see if this works. As a compliment. Equip all Gob R series items. Something good will happen. I think, Gob. Okay, see you again, Gob. Oh, okay. Now we get Imp's praises, which is in our key items. No, but not in our key items. So we got the imps spin the first time, now we got the imps praises. Praises you in a very sloppy handwriting. And then uh, I think something different happens when we equip everything. Golden cap A, golden A, golden gloves there, got boots boom. More goblins. Prove all the same things. Yeah, it's just all the same stuff. Nothing really different here. 
Mushroom. Yeah, mushroom. Alright, well, that's all that's here in this map. Let's get out and continue on, shall we? So I need to check to see if I have all grunty food, and I don't think I do. This is what we're, I think we're missing is one more piney apple. Need 15 golden eggs, we got that. Three cordyceps, we got those. And five Ono oh melons. Uh, we got it. Alright, so I'm missing one piney apple. I know we visited one place to get a piney apple. I'll take a group with me. And. Is Mia here now? Can we use Mia again? Right, let's go. Yeah, she, she comes and joins us. Um, and from what I've heard too, we can actually now use Wiseman. But she definitely needs to get leveled up. Get Wiseman. Why, hello there. Give me just a moment. I'll be right there. Yeah. So I missed selecting Wiseman in one of our missions when I was making a party. I did not realize that Wiseman actually won't show up in this. So after you get his member address, you don't use him until the next game. Or at the end of this game. But he doesn't do anything else with you. So, uh, let me go better equip these guys and do some changing around and uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna look through my word list. Because one of these, maybe it was this one. Oh, I'm so good, it is this one. That's the one I was looking for. Here he is. You're all I needed. All right, let's get out of here. All right, grunty. Let's give it five oh no melons. I'm gonna give it three cordyceps. Boom goes to the next stage. And we want to give it two piney apples. And lastly, 15 golden eggs. To you, I'm full grown. <laughs> it's a snaky runt. I do very good work for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, let's see what kind of traits it has. Chief, what is it? <laughs> let's see what let's this has here. Let's trade my nice goods for Chief's nice goods. <laughs> it just sounds like he's gonna bite me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> let's else? trade. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what kind of items they have. He's got all the summons. He's got a silver grunty, which is plus 15 to your maximum SP. That's great. Uh, ivory greaves are always nice. I don't really care about any of the summon books, but I want that silvery grunty. I don't think I have anything really good to trade him just yet, so let's go get that. I put all my items away. Chief? Trade it up. Silver Grunty. Or. Hellsgate. Dante's Blade. And Slayers. Woo! And we're gonna use it. Bam! SP increased by 15. We are so strong now. Alright. That was one. Well. 
two of the extra things, getting the last grunty that we needed for this series, and now we need to go to other servers, go over here, because there's a place that we need to go there. A bitter fantasy mere world is a level 50 area. They are, what, level 49? So I may just take them with me. 49, 49. Yeah, I'll take them with me. Why not? Wordless. Bitter Fantasy Mirror World. Here we go. Oh, it's a protected area. Do I even have enough, uh... Virus cores to go. Oh, I only need one. It's you. I just need you. Isn't this sweet? Ooh. It's a unique looking place. Zoom out. Out of my face, please. Zoom all the way out. Oh, we can't really. We don't have like a free camera range thing. Pretty cool looking. No map. something will appear. Hmm. There's even areas like below us, which makes you think that there's probably areas above us too. Upside down entrance to it. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and use a berry sword. First encounter. A keen worm, he's magic intolerant. Skills. Like actual skills, you guys. Just magic intolerant. Alright. Uh, why is my gut paralyzed down? Which I was such a bad thing. Only does magic. Well, no, I guess he could be my hero. Like the uh, is it house golem? 
Now he's on the last level. Yeah, this guy. Oh, he's so huge. He's physically intolerant, though. Uh, everyone, manager, right on. What is he? He is an Earth type. Don't have any wood ones. Attack up and life regeneration. Well, it's another one of these guys. Hit him with the magic. could be higher dungeon levels but a lot of my characters are at 50 or like these two who haven't been with us are at level 49 just getting a little extra XP to go to outbreak is not a bad thing Fireball 
storm. Uh, which reminds me, what? What's that? Alright. Yeah, there is something I wasn't able to get for wise men, and maybe. These are all like really low level for where we're at. Level 50 area, and they're giving us level 27 equipment. Oh, it's the thing with uh, magic tokens. So hit it with all your physical might. Should I actually just do this, wise man? Play first aid. gonna be in the next room. Oh well. What do we got? Another house golem. Everyone stick to magic. A mage's soul. Just glad it's one monster the entire time and that we didn't encounter both the worm and golem at once. I may have just jinxed myself by saying that though, we still have another level to go. with that one, that's always nice. There's a bear cat egg. Bear cat egg. Yep, that's what I just said. Let's 
go down. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, well, I'll wait till I get down. Gotta do another strength. She doesn't really need, doesn't do physical attacks. Oh, what is this thing? A wander demon. What is she I will say that I am good at data drain all the monsters I have not seen before. Because they're throwing some new ones at me. Another one of these 
guys. Magic it. Ooh, he has death effect. That's why Mia got hit so hard.
Unless they had it hidden somewhere else. But I never came across any boards where it's like, hey, I fed my Grunty these foods and it became this guy. <laughs> school when we were doing that. Um, a buddy of mine who I lent the game to, who was really enjoying the series, printed out everything with all the different grunty stuff. Uh, Wasman, give us a little first day. <laughs> then we'll do another strength and check when we get down to the next level. Here we go, level three. There's something in the back. 
Let's call it the butt, kite. See? Yeah, it's a big area. What the? Oh, look at that it's thing. It's acting like the boss of this ghost town. It is. Oh my god, what is it? What is it? What is it? What does it do? It's got life drain. On a little more. It doesn't have anything. Oh my god. Man. <laughs> Oh no! I should probably also have a lot of skills. Hey, don't go after me, you don't want to go for me, I'm, I'm bony. I'm just gonna sit back and have magic spells. I don't even want to get close to him. Um. Maybe we just let Mia die. Just bring Mia back up. Be right on. Yeah, let's just do that. Quite a lot. My back. Back or if I just keep on uh oh, me as she's getting hit. Oh, he does a lot of damage. I don't think I could. I think maybe we stick with the stratum just for five minutes each time. Plenty of resurrects, we can bring her back. That's not a problem. Be right on. Be right on. Be right on. Stop, stop, and then she's dead. Be right on. Doing another one of those little two steps Be forward, right one on. step back options Be with right this on. character. He's got right life on. steal. Be right on. so it doesn't hit anybody else and just keep reviving and bringing them back. Ah, ah, I knew it all alone. This is the thing that destroyed the city? There was a city here? When did I miss that backstory? We got lucky shoes. And we go back to town because I didn't need to heal anyone. I gotta see what those lucky shoes and crimson thing in the bobby is. Alright. Let's check it out. Weird equipment. Crimson Raid or Twin Blades. Nice. Level 24. Rare. Come with Life Drain. We can do Blazing Wheel, Twin Dragons, and then Apvakaz, which increases target and any nearby members Fire Elemental. Not bad. Uh, the other ones that I have have SP drain on them too. So, yeah. uh, Lucky Shoes, which is good for my particular type of character. A level 27 rare is the only downside to that, but we get Rick Seam, 
to harmonize the target, recover HP with time. And uh, a rig gem, which bless the target, recover SP with time. And then added effects, no damage. Added effects during battle, possible chance of receiving no damage from enemy attacks. That's actually pretty cool. A lot of magical defense and things like that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna equip those. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna equip those. <laughs> it's actually better than the deluxe boots. It's crazy. Like a lot of my resistance goes down, but it only is gonna go down by like two. And I'm gonna miss out on getting Gansant. Ooh. I saw the, the lower level and I was like, oh, this isn't gonna be that great. I do the same thing with the goblin stuff. Alright, lucky shoots. Here we go. I'm gonna walk around with my lucky shoots. And then, um. What was the other one? It's the Crimson Raid. So, a lot of stuff is going down. Oh, we get to keep the skill drain because it's not a part of my weapon. Life drain. So skill drain, I, that's right, I have gloves. That's where I got the skill drain from. Increase my attack by three to let everything else go down by a tremendous amount. I think I'm going to. I'm cool with what I got. Well, all right, there you have it. That's the bonus content that comes after beating the game. And in my next video that I will be releasing later today, you will see the bonus locations that we can visit. The three that we should have gone when we played Infection, and the three that we go to with Mutation. It's going to be a real blast. I can I can just tell you. We're going to have a good time. Anyways, I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Mutation. Goodbye.